एवरी वन होप यू आर आर गुड वी आर हेयर फॉर ग्रेट टेन मैथ यू कैन फाइंड ऑल दी लेसन ऑन ए प्लस स्टूडेंट्स डॉट कॉम यू हैव टू लॉग इन देर यूजिंग योर ई मेल एड्रेस एंड पासवर्ड इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई दी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर देन यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट मैथ फ्रॉम दी सब्जेक्ट टैब scroll down to grade 10 and then click on view all lessons there you can find a list of the chapters we're going to start with the chapter probability and the lessons we're going to please make sure you have your notebook and pencil so that you can note down the important examples and definitions as well Here I am on Grade Ten Math. The chapter we are working on is probability. Let's just start with the lesson. So here I am on the first lesson that is theoretical and experimental probability. Let's just start with the first example. A grocery store recently sold two cartons of lemon yogurt and fourteen other cartons of yogurt. What is the experimental probability that the next carton of yogurt sold will be lemon? Right. First thing is you have to calculate the total outcomes. Right. The total outcomes are fourteen uh, other cartons and two lemon cartons. Fourteen plus two is sixteen. Right. So you have to calculate the probability of lemon. So probability of lemon equals the Uh, outcomes for the lemon divided by the total outcomes, right? So you have only two cartons for lemon, and the total outcomes are sixteen. So that would be two over sixteen, and you can write the answer in the simplest form. So that would be one over eight. See here, it is one over eight, right? Let's just start with the practice questions. <clears throat> May supplies. Costumes to a number of theater companies. She recently provided fourteen different hats, including seven mortar boards. What is the experimental probability that the next hat requested for May's inventory will be a mortar board? Right. So first, you need to calculate the total outcomes. Right. The total hats she sold fourteen different hats. Including seven motor boards, right? So fourteen. That means the total she sold is fourteen. So that means the total outcomes is fourteen, right? And out of them, seven of them are motor boards. You need to calculate the probability of motor boards. So probability of motor motor boards is seven over fourteen because seven are the outcomes for motor boards and fourteen are the total outcomes. So when you simplify them, divide them by seven, that is seven times one is seven, and seven times Two is fourteen, so the correct option is <coughs> one over two. It is right. The correct option is one over two. Option number one is the correct option. You spin the spinner once. What is the probability of prime? So you have four portions on the spinner, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Which of the numbers are prime here? Two numbers are prime, right? Five is prime and seven is prime. So the probability of prime is the outcomes that are the probability of prime is the outcomes that are prime. Two outcomes out of the total. Uh, Total outcomes. The total outcomes are four, right? Because the total portions on the spinner are four. So you have to simplify. The correct option is one by two. Just divide them, multiply by hundred. That is fifty percent. Fifty percent of the outcomes are prime numbers, right?
okay the next one is the correct option is 50 percent right the next one is uh, mitch's mother recorded how many donuts he has eaten over the past few months right glazed donuts two chocolate frost donuts 12 and jelly filled donuts 4 what is the experimental probability that in next donut which will eat, which eats will be a glazed donut right okay so first thing is we need to calculate the total donuts right so for 12 13 14 you need to add them 12 and 4 16 and 2 18 that means the total probability total outcomes are 18 okay you have to calculate the probability of glazed donuts so only two of them are glazed so two out of 18 that equals one out of nine option number one is the correct option right the correct option is one by nine option number one is the correct option The table shows the enrollment in university class so far. Broken down by student type, you have adult education 6, undergraduate students 2, graduate students 4. What is the experimental probability that the next student to enroll will be a graduate student? So which is the correct option? The correct option is twelve and four of the four over twelve, right? The correct option is one over three, right? The correct option is 1 over 3, right? Option number 1 is the correct option. You pick a marble at random. What is the probability of blue or brown? Which is the correct option?
द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट वेरी गुड ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके यू कैन कंप्लीट द लेसन बाई योर सेल्फ लेटर टूडे लेट मी जस्ट मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट लेसन ओके द नेक्स्ट लेसन इज कंपाउंड इवेंट्स फाइंडिंग नंबर ऑफ outcomes compound event means more, more than one event right so when you have more than one event how do we calculate their total outcomes let's just start with the first example that is you pick a marble and spin the spinner how many outcomes are possible right so for the spinner you have two outcomes and for the marbles you have four outcomes you need to calculate the total outcomes so you have to do two times four right Two times four is eight. So you have total eight. Now, whenever you have to calculate the total outcomes of the compound uh, events, you simply have to multiply their outcomes for each event, right? So two times four is eight. The correct option is eight. Got it? Okay. Let's just start with the test questions. You pick a card and roll a die. How many outcomes are possible? So, which is the correct option? Which is the correct option? You have five outcomes for the cards and six outcomes for the. Die. So that means the total outcomes is six times five. The correct option is thirty-eight. Is option number two is the correct option. That means the total outcomes are thirty. You spin the spinner and pick a marble. How many outcomes are possible? So which is the correct option? you have six outcomes for the marble and three outcomes for the spinner so the total yes the correct option is 6 times 3 equal 18 so the total outcomes are 18 got it the correct option is 18 you flip a coin and roll a die how many outcomes are possible which is the correct option which is the correct option yes that is 6 times 2 the correct option is 12 the total outcomes are 12 you pick a card and flip a coin how many outcomes are possible so which is the correct option
the correct option is yes five times two it is the correct option is ten option number one is the correct option you pick a marble and spin the spinner how many outcomes are possible so which is the correct option Yes, that is four times two. The correct option is eight. Option number one is the correct option. <clears throat> you flip a coin and pick a marble. How many outcomes are possible? Yes, that is four times two equals eight. The correct option is eight. You flip a coin and spin the spinner. How many outcomes are possible? Yes, that is six times two. The correct option is twelve. Option number two is the correct option. You spin the spinner and flip a coin. How many outcomes are possible? Yes, the correct option is ten. It is option number one. Is the correct option? Okay, you can complete the lesson by yourself later today. Let's just move on to next lesson. The next lesson is independent and dependent events. Let's just start with the lesson. Okay, the first example is guests are fi are filing out RSVP cards for Abe's wedding. The, they must choose which type of entry they would prefer for dinner. The choices are chicken, ch 
chicken, beef or vegetarian dinner. Billy chooses an entry on the other side of town. Preston also chooses. Are these two events dependent or independent? They are the independent events, right? Because the two events are independent since the guests do not know what others will choose. One guest responsive will not influence another's, right? So that's why they are the independent events, right? Okay, let's just start with the practice question. Isaac picks a marble at random without putting the first marble back. He picks a second marble at random. Are these two events dependent or independent? So which is the correct option? Okay, so these are the dependent events. Why? Because for the first time when he is going to pick a marble, he have mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 options, right? But when he picked the first marble, he didn't put it back, right? For the second time, he have one less option, right? So outcome of the second event is influenced by the outcomes of the first event. So that's why they are the dependent events. The correct option is dependent it is. Buys a skull show featuring one of a kind art. A few minutes later, Becky comes to the same art show and buys a sculpture too. Are these two events dependent or independent? They are the dependent events, right? Because for the first time, Abby have one more options to to select a sculpture. But when AB selected a sculpture and Becky comes, he have one less option, right? So the outcomes of the second event are influenced by the outcomes of the first event. So they are the dependent events.
Marshall pulls a coin out of his pocket and places it on the table. Then he reaches his back into his pocket and takes out another coin. So are these two events dependent or independent? They are the dependent events. The correct option is dependent it is. Students in a fifth grade class are writing reports on a famous inventors. Each student may choose one inventor from a list. The teacher does not want any repeats. Leon chooses By Alice. <clears throat> yes, they are the dependent events. The correct option is dependent it is. Robbie and Alexa uh, got messages from the same person. On Monday, Robbie calls and picks one of the available appointment times. On Tuesday, Alexa calls and picks one of the remaining appointments. So are these two events dependent or independent? They are the dependent events. The correct option is dependent. It is option number one is the correct option. Students in a composition class may select certain topics on which to write an essay. Repeats are allowed and they do not need to inform the teacher of their choice prior to the due date of the essay. Are these two events dependent or independent? The correct option is they are the dependent events right okay you can complete the lesson by yourself later today let me just move on to next lesson the next lesson is counting principle Leila is packing a lunch box to take to school Leila can make 10 kinds of sandwiches and there are two kinds of fruit in the house there are two flavors of juices, juice boxes in the refrigerator. Assuming Lela packs one of each item, how many different lunch can she pack?
the correct option is that is basically the counting principle you have to multiply all the choices right you have to do 10 times 2 times 2 so the correct option is 42 different choices she have right let's just start with the <coughs> test questions then she is knitting a sweater for the yarn she has to choose from two colors and five weights how many different sweaters can Nancy knit? So, which is the correct option? Yes, she can do five times two. The correct option is ten different choices she have for the to knit the sweater right a doctor wants to subscribe to some magazines so that her patients have something to read in the waiting room she wants to subscribe to one of the two news magazines, one of the five fashion magazines. She also wants to subscribe one of the seven business magazines. How many different combinations of magazines can the doctor order? So which is the correct option? The correct option is yes 78 is she can have 70 different combinations to choose from Nick is ordering breakfast in a restaurant. There are nine types of eggs and five types of toast to choose from. How many different breakfast can Nick order? Which is the correct option? The correct option is she can do 9 times 5. The correct option is 45, right? Option number 1 is the correct option. Mira is planning a day out for her grandmother's birthday. They are going to have lunch at one of her grandmother's two favorite restaurants. Then they will go shopping at one of her grandmother's four, freak, four favorite store. Next, they will go to see a movie and there are four movies out that she thinks her grandmother might like. Assuming the order of the activities doesn't matter how many different 
ways can Veera plan her grandmother's birthday outing? So which is the correct option? Yes, the correct option is 32 ways. The total ways are 32. The correct option is she have total 32 choices to choose from. Nina is planning a workout. She needs to choose one of the four cardio routines and one of the five resistance training routines. How many different workouts can Nina plan? So which is the correct option? Yes, she can do in 20 different workouts, right? The correct option is 20. Okay, you can complete the lesson by yourself later today. So we were working on grade 10 math. The chapter we were working on is probability. The lessons we have covered today are theoretical and experimental probability. Compound events find the number of outcomes, independent and dependent events, and counting principle, right? So please make sure before the next session you can complete all the practice questions for the lessons we did today. That is your homework until next session, right? So if you need more help with any of the lesson, you can contact any tutor on the Skype. They are available from Monday to Friday, 5 to 9. Or either you can join me in the interactive session that would be daily from 4 to 5 and from 9 to 10 right all for today see you in the next session bye everyone